Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, and today we are back with another Top 10 Lego video. In this case, we are taking a look at the Top 10 Rarest Lego Iron Man minifigures. Iron Man is one of my favorite Marvel characters, as he is the favorite for many people, and because of that, Lego has put out a ton of minifigures based on the titular armored hero. And so, today we're going to take a look at every single one of the Iron Man minifigures from 2012 to today, and count down the top 10 rarest ones we have ever gotten. Personally, when putting this list together, I was actually kind of surprised by a few of the items on it. I certainly was not expecting some of the ones that appeared in just regular retail sets to be so rare, but I guess it is how it is. Let's go ahead and take a look at the top 10 rarest Iron Man suits right now. Alright, so starting off at number 10, we have an entry on the list simply called the Iron Man Taser Armor. It released in 2020 for set number 76166 Avengers Tower Battle, which was somewhat based off of the Square Enix Avengers games. This particular suit seems to be at least a little bit similar to Mark 30 Blue Steel from the MCU, even though it is the least MCU aligned entry on this list. Now, that set that came out in 2020 did come with another exclusive Iron Man suit as well, which was the Hot Rod, but I'm assuming this one made it on the list instead of that one because it is a more unique color for Iron Man being dark blue. The price of this is around $15 used or $17 new, which is not a ton, but I can definitely imagine the price going upwards, especially after the set is retired. It only just recently retired to my knowledge, so maybe in a few years this may be worth a lot more. Now, this is a really nice and striking color scheme scheme for a suit itself. I love the silver and dark blue. I think that looks fantastic on this figure as a whole. And overall, big fan of how this one turned out. They are using the comic styled Iron Man helmet, which I'm okay on. I definitely don't hate it as much as a lot of people do, but I really do prefer the OG style that does flip up. They have since released a new style of Iron Man helmet that does flip up as well, which I don't think is that bad. It's a little bit more ubiquitous and can be used for different things, but I still feel like the classic 2012 Iron Man helmet is where it's at. Coming in at number 9, we have a minifigure from set number 76107, Thanos Ultimate Battle in 2018 to coincide with Avengers Infinity War. And this is Iron Man's Mark 50 armor, specifically the version with wings and stickers on the wings themselves. Funnily enough, the actual minifigure itself did appear across three different sets without the wings. It came in the Iron Man Hall of Armor 76125 and the Sanctum Sanctorum Showdown 76108, so really the most expensive and rare thing about this minifigure are the backpack attachments to actually have the wings just like he did use in Infinity War. Now this minifigure retails for around $15 used but $25 new. The reason behind that is because obviously if these stickers are new and in good condition it is worth more and this to me is a really nice looking Iron Man figure. Of course you do have the face that flips upwards revealing the Tony Stark headpiece with the hologram on one side and the standard headpiece on the other. One thing I really do like about this figure are the blue eyes. I think the coloration of the blue eyes is really solid, and while this isn't one of my favorite suits, I definitely feel like the more specialized ones are more interesting, this is still a really nice looking minifigure, and it definitely adds to the appeal for the fact that it does have these massive jet engine wings on the sides, which absolutely are why it's on the list. Moving onwards to our number 8 pick, this is Iron Man Mark 7. It appeared in two sets across 2012 and 2016, set number 6869, which was the Quinjet Aerial Battle, aka the main original Avengers movie Quinjet, as well as a 4 plus or junior set, Iron Man vs. Loki, set number 10721, a surprising four years after its original release in 2016. Now, this is particularly notable because this was basically the final armor that Iron Man wore in the original Avengers 2012 movie, making it have a lot of special value to a lot of MCU collectors. You do have a standard Tony face underneath, which you can see a smile on one side, and a bit of a scared expression on the other, which they used for Iron Man in the original Avengers sets, and this does feel very classic to me in the stylization and printing. I definitely do feel that the printing for Iron Man suits have improved a lot over the years, and look no further than the actual latest Iron Man Mark 7 figure. We literally just got a new version of it last year for Iron Man's new Hall of Armor, which was a lot more detailed and definitely feels more up to date with what LEGO can do nowadays, but this this is a nice blast of the past to take a look at what graphic design was like for minifigures back in 2012 for the Avenger sets, and it definitely is one of the most nostalgic minifigures on the list, which is why I figure it is so expensive at 
a pretty high $18 used but $35 new, which for a standard minifigure that appeared in two sets, one of which being a small junior set, is actually pretty expensive. Moving on to number 7, we have Iron Man Mark 46, aka the Iron Man that appeared in Captain America Civil War. This only appeared in one single set, which is why it is so rare, set number 76051 Superhero Airport Battle, which of course was the main battle for Civil War itself. This is the outfit that he wore throughout the movie, so it makes sense that a lot of people would really want to be able to pick this one up because it is a very iconic outfit for Iron Man. And while again this isn't one of the specialized ones, so it's not the most interesting to me, it is just another standard Iron Man suit. I actually really do like the printing on this quite a lot. I love the way the arc reactor looks, which is particularly kind of a middle section here kind of chopped off on the top, which is a very unique design and look and feel for the minifigure. And he does have a pretty standard facial expression for Iron Man. Again, just that standard one with an angry face on the back, and then just the standard expression here, which was what they were using until they invented the new style for Infinity War. Overall, this minifigure in particular cost $22 used or $38 new, making it one of the more expensive items on this list, but this is just getting started. Coming out shortly after Captain America Civil War was Spider-Man Homecoming, and this is Iron Man Mark 47, literally the next Iron Man armor on the suit for our number 6 pick on the list, Mark 47 for Spider-Man Homecoming. This also appeared in only one set, making it incredibly rare because it was the Iron Man suit that he wore throughout the Spider-Man Homecoming movie, specifically that set was 76083, Beware the Vulture in 2017. This Iron Man suit is particularly interesting because it kind of has a silver component to it. Personally, I think it would have been really cool if the legs were maybe dual molded somewhat, or even maybe having silver legs would have worked for the minifigure, but overall, I do love the graphic design on this. When the minifigure and the armor was first announced for Spider-Man, I was honestly a little bit mixed. It felt a bit strange to me for a lot of it to be silver, and really, if you take the original Iron Man Mark 46 armor, they are very, very similar, almost identical in printing for the torso, except this one just has a silver underbelly instead, but it actually really works out. For this armor, I think it is a very interesting and unique aesthetic design, and of course, Iron Man himself was not present in the armor, you just have a standard transparent blue head to showcase the suit is being remote piloted. Overall, this minifigure costs around $23 used and around $39 new, putting it slightly above the previous one on the list, but basically these are very similar to being around the same value, which makes sense because they literally just did come out one after another. Moving onwards, we have a specialized minifigure that's actually the Mark 43 suit from Age of Ultron. However, there is something really special about this one because this depicts the suit as Iron Man is putting it on. It is a really interesting and weird design option for a suit. The Mark 43 armor itself, which did appear across three sets in 2015, is not rare whatsoever because we did get a ton of it. But this one is rare because this only appeared in one set in 2018. The Hulkbuster Ultron Edition, which was kind of a UCS Hulkbuster, set number 76105. To date, it is the only Iron Man minifigure that also comes with an accompanying display stand, which has a nice Mark 43 sticker. Unfortunately, mine is a little bit messed up because I put it on sideways, which was very unfortunate, but it is a really nice and special minifigure for the sticker. This does just come with the standard Iron Man Tony Stark head for Age of Ultron, but it is a nice looking suit, pretty much identical to just the standard Mark 43 armor. The only difference is that it has these little kind of exposed gears on the front and of the torso, and the back is a little bit different as well, making this a very unique variant of the Mark 43 that is literally only to be used in a suit-up scene, which is very strange how LEGO was really honestly, it looks to me that LEGO was trying to kind of scrape at the bottom of the barrel, trying to come up with an alternate suit to make it a little bit more exclusive or rare for this particular set. Did they succeed? I mean, it is an exclusive variant, and there's a reason why it is high on this list, but I definitely feel that maybe this is kind of just one of those variants that is on this list because it was exclusive to an expensive set. In particular, this costs around $28 used or $35 new, which places it around the same value as many of the other suits that we just looked at, but it's about to get a lot more expensive from here. 
Coming in at number 4, we have the Scuba Iron Man outfit from 2016. This came in set number 76048, Iron Skull Sub-Attack, and this is essentially supposed to basically be Mark 37 Hammerhead from the MCU. There are a couple of minor changes to the printing to make it a little bit more comics accurate and make it a comics-based set instead of an MCU-based set, but if you look at all the MCU suits, this is basically supposed to be the Mark 37. Now this is one of my favorite Iron Man suits for a number of reasons. First of all, it is a specialty suit. I think that is really cool whenever he makes specialty suits. If you notice, the head can flip up and it is just clear underneath, so no Tony Stark head, which does make sense. Maybe it was being remote piloted. But what's really cool about this is the sand green color scheme, which is so rare for Iron Man. The copper faceplate really gives the underwater look and feel. And if you remove the armor here, this is what the armor looks like if you want to just kind of treat it like a standard Iron Man outfit. You have a lot of nice copper printing on the back, which actually is kind of covered up by the armor. It's almost a shame because a lot of effort went into making this a full-on suit, even if you don't want to display it with the armor, which itself was introduced for the LEGO Hero Factory Invasion from Below sets, introducing a nice new printed tile for the arc reactor as well, which looks absolutely fantastic. Overall, this is easily one of my favorite armors because it is a unique one with a very unique look and feel for the actual armor piece itself, and it absolutely makes sense why this piece is so rare, coming in at around $30 used and $40 new. And for our number 3 pick on the list, we have Space Iron Man. Also released for comic space sets in 2016, this came in set number 76049, Avenget Space Mission, and this essentially is supposed to be the Mark 39 Starboost Iron Man from the MCU. Again, there are some changes, like the shape of the arc reactor and whatnot, but this is basically supposed to be the Starboost Iron Man from the MCU, and this is also one of my favorite suits. In fact, as we go into the top three suits on this list, we're basically hitting a lot of my favorite suits they've ever made for Iron Man. Now this one is really special because it is an all white Iron Man outfit which is really cool. Again has that clear head underneath but it's such a solid design for the Starboost suit itself. You have a very crisp color scheme of white, some gunmetal gray and a lot of gold as well being utilized for the color scheme and this does use a kind of jetpack backpack on the back here but I really do like how the back printing showcases some of the back exhausts which allow you to kind of soar through space which is very very cool how they actually have that corresponding to the transparent clear neck bracket included for the minifig as well. This is one of the rarest standard set Iron Man minifigures. In fact, out of all the minifigures that appeared in regular LEGO sets, this is the rarest, coming in at $53 used or $72 new, which goes to show just how popular this version of Iron Man is, and for good reason. It's a really cool looking suit, it's one of the favorites that I have in my collection, and I absolutely love this figure. And coming in at number two, we have probably my favorite Iron Man minifigure of all time. This may actually be one of my favorite Lego minifigures of all time, just because of how good it is. And this is the Silver Centurion, aka Mark 33. The Silver Centurion released in 2016, and this had a few special stipulations behind its release. Specifically, this came as a pre-order exclusive for the Marvel Avengers LEGO game, which was kind of the second LEGO Marvel game they put out, which was based on the MCU, which is why this is so rare. Despite the fact that this released in 2016, around 2019-2020, LEGO actually put out this again, or GameStop did a promotion where they basically were clearing out old stock, and you could just show up to a GameStop store and just ask for one of these and get it either for free or get it for like a few dollars, which is a very interesting thing for GameStop to have done. I think they just found extra promo around 2020, but that absolutely did nothing to hamper the value of this minifigure, which is around $68 used or $100 new. Definitely one of the rarest set exclusive Iron Man minifigures. Now this does actually come with a unique face, so I'm going to go ahead and lift up the facial print here and you can see that he does have the bruised facial expression which was from Captain America Civil War and then a completely different expression on the other side, a smiling one which is very unique for this version of Iron Man. One of the coolest things to me about this Iron Man is that this kind of revolutionized a lot of the things that they could do with an Iron Man suit. First of all, you may notice that they have metallic silver printing on the sides of the helmet, which is unlike anything they did for the Iron Man helmet to date, and pretty much that was really unique for this figure to make the faceplate just feel a little bit more of a different shape when it's placed onwards. 
What this minifigure also does is introduce the Lego Legends of Chima armor piece. However, they actually were able to recolor different pieces of the Chima armor piece where you can see it is silver and dark red, which is again, this is the only time they ever did that for this piece, adding a special color to these side pauldrons, which is so interesting. I did not even know they could do that. And you can even see that they have printed a one by one tile for the arc reactor, which looks fantastic there. And on the back here, you have a dark red and silver printing for a one by two tile, which continues alongside the entire minifigure itself, where you can see the minifigure is sporting absolutely incredible printing. Dual molded arms with printing on the side of the arms and printing on the side of the legs. Just a stunning minifigure, absolutely decked out in some of the best printing possible and easily the best produced Iron Man suit LEGO has ever made to date, bar none. This is the coolest Iron Man minifigure for me. I love the color scheme. I love the production value. It is just simply fantastic. And I think it is a well-deserved number two spot on the list. And funnily enough, coming in at number one is a minifigure I don't actually own. This is the New York Toy Fair Iron Man, and this was only given out at New York Toy Fair, actually before LEGO Avengers came out. This was released in 2011, and this retails for around 14,000 US dollars. So while I do really want to eventually own this one day, it's not quite within my price range to purchase a single minifigure for $14,000 nowadays, no matter how tempting it may be. This is a really special looking minifigure because it is using just a standard Lego printed head. Really, the only special thing about it is the torso and the head itself because this was before they even made the Iron Man head mold and Lego was kind of experimenting with different types of minifigures that they were working on. And so far, it is one of the hardest minifigures to get your hands on. If you are selling one for a reasonable price, and by a reasonable price I mean ideally less than that, please do let me know in the comments because I have seen them sell for a lot less. In fact, I've seen them sell for maybe only around like a few thousand dollars especially if you just like buy the torso and the head separately the thing is that the fourteen thousand dollar price tag includes the cardboard backing for the minifigure which personally i do not care about i do not really collect the cardboard backings i really only collect the minifigures so on the off chance that you are selling it without the cardboard backing, I would be very, very interested because this was a special Toy Fair 2012 exclusive. And if I look at some items for sale right now, I can see one, wait a second, one for sale at Brickland for $5,000 right now? I might just get that. Hmm. So the, the head printing has faded a little bit. This video has now devolved into a, a Lego shopping video, apparently, but definitely very interested in this minifigure. $5,000 is not bad, so I may actually pick that one up, but we will have to wait and see. Overall, definitely one of the rarest Lego minifigures that has ever come out, and definitely one of the ones that I am on the hunt for for my Lego collection. All right, and with that, we have summed up our look at the top 10 rarest LEGO Iron Man minifigures, including one that I don't even own myself. Let me know down in the comments below, do you own any of these? What do you think of the Iron Man minifigures, and which ones are your personal favorites? For me, I love the Silver Centurion. It is personally one of my favorite minifigures of all time, so it was really cool to see that on this list, and I definitely still really want to get my hands on that New York Toy Fair Iron Man, so if anyone is selling one, let me know down in the comments below, because I would love to take it off your hands. With that, we have summed up this video. Thank you all so much for tuning in to Duck Breaks. Be sure to like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming away very soon, and bye for now.